They like me. Right now, they like me. They really, really like me. Stay tuned and I'll explain. Hey gang, I feel like it's been forever since we've had one of these little chats, but I wanted to take a few minutes and bring you up to speed on some cool stuff that's happening, and of course, to try and drop a little talk knowledge along the way. My big news is this past week it was announced that I've been named a light leader by Photoflex. Photoflex is the company that makes the soft boxes and umbrellas and octodomes and reflector holders and loads of other lighting gear that I've been using for over 30 years. The folks at Photoflex decided to release my name a week early as a teaser to the new team of light leaders that will be announced next week. You know, after I posted an announcement on Facebook, one of my subscribers messaged me and said, you know, I like your videos and you're a good photographer and all. I was a little disappointed he didn't say great, but I'll take good. He then asked, what's the big deal about being a light leader? Do you have to advertise their stuff now? Let's take the second question first. No, I don't have to advertise their stuff. I don't get paid by Photoflex. And just in case you don't know, the overwhelming majority of photographers that you see promoting cameras or different products aren't paid to do so. Yes, we get certain considerations and rewards from time to time, but overwhelmingly it's because we truly believe in the gear that we're talking about. I really have been using Photoflex gear since the 1980s. I really do own a ton of it. If you've watched many of my videos, you've seen me using it for years now. Sure, now I'll mention the name more often, but I've done that in the past. What I do get from this relationship is access. Access to the people who design the equipment. Access to new equipment before it hits the market so that I can test it out, give them feedback, and create videos to show you how to best use it. The relationship gives me the ability to do more, show more, and teach you more. In other words, we all benefit from this. The first question that was asked, what's the big deal about being a light leader? <laughs> Honestly, I had to think about that one for a minute. After I got over the gut punch party pooper tone of this guy's question, I tried to give him an answer and I realized something that I hadn't considered before. Anytime we're recognized for what we do, it's a big deal. It's rewarding and it sure as heck feels great. But I realized the big deal about being a light leader is you guys. All of you who watch my videos and subscribe to my channel. Yeah, I have a nice portfolio. I use their product. But more importantly, I have more than 80,000 of you who subscribe and watch and learn from me. Being named a light leader is confirmation that the work I'm doing has value and it means something. And for that, I have all of you to thank. So let's not get any sappier than this or we're all gonna need a big group hug. I will tell you that you should bookmark photoflex.com. There are a bunch of really good lighting lessons on their website from past light leaders, and there'll be a lot more coming, including some by yours truly. Also be sure to follow them on Facebook and Instagram. I put the links in the description below. I'm trying to convince them to let me take over their Instagram for a week and show off images and lighting lessons. Now that I put it here on YouTube, I think we'll be able to talk them into giving me the password. Okay, so I promised some TOG knowledge. Here are a few of my favorite shots done with Photoflex light modifiers. Did you figure out all the lighting arrangements? Here are a few of my favorites. First, clamshell lighting. This is a go-to arrangement for me because you really can't go wrong, as long as you do it right. The mistake that a lot of people make is to put the bottom softbox closer to the subject's face, but still set it at the same power as the top box. This causes shadows on the top of the face. Remember, our brains expect to see light coming from above. 
So you still wanna have the top box slightly more powerful than the bottom one so that you have a hint of shadow and definition under the nose and the chin and all the places where you would expect to see shadows. You can see in this behind the scenes shot, I frequently back my lights up to a good three to four feet away from the subject to get a result like this. Another of my favorite setups is done with a five foot octodome. You can see in this shot, I have it above and fairly close to my subject so that the light will fall off quick behind her and also start to feather off at the bottom of the frame. It's also a lot of fun to mount this big octodome above a model when shooting fine art nudes for results like these. Here's a simple headshot lit with a Photoflex shoot through umbrella and a Walmart reflector on the bottom to create a soft clamshell effect. Yes, I said a Walmart reflector in a video about Photoflex. I told you, I'm not getting paid to say things. I'm gonna keep sharing what I do, what I really do. The Photoflex light discs are great. I own two, but sometimes the Walmart reflector is just a quick and easy solution. And in this case, it's smaller than my light discs, which was perfect for this setup. One last one is this three light portrait shot with the main light on camera right, being diffused with a 39 inch by 39 inch light panel frame and a white diffuser. A subtle rim light on camera left and a background light with a yellow gel aimed low on the orange background. So there you have it. If you haven't seen it yet, be sure to watch my video about the inverse square law. Master the inverse square law, throw in some Photoflex light modifiers and a lot of hard work, and you could be on the next team of Photoflex light leaders. Please hit that thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss any videos. And until next time, go pick up that camera and shoot something because your best shot, <laughs> it's your next shot. So keep learning, keep thinking, and keep shooting. Adios.